Geneva Motor Show 2017, Latest News Live coverage of the second press day at the 2017 Geneva Motor Show, bringing you up to speed with all the latest new car news. The Geneva Motor Show 2017 news surge is well and truly on, and having covered nearly all of the new production cars and concept vehicles, the second press day is a good opportunity to inspect the stands that might have been overlooked yesterday and sniff out fresh leads. Our intrepid team of reporters is on the hunt for exclusive news stories and additional insights following yesterday's headlines, so expect plenty of expert analysis and interviews over the coming hours. Brace yourselves. We've already been treated to the new Renault Alpine A110, the Range Rover Veeler, Ferrari's 812 Superfast, the Honda Civic Type R and Ford's Fiesta ST, but that barely scratches the surface following Tuesday's flood of news. You can find details of all of the big launches below, and our comprehensive A2Z will tell you exactly what each manufacturer is up to at the Geneva Motor Show this year. The news is still coming too and you can find the top headlines below alongside our in-depth pages on all the cars. Don't forget to rifle through our live Twitter feed, where you can find the latest updates from the Auto Express team on the show floor. The Key Cars at Geneva 2017 Alpine A110, Renault sports car sub-brand is reborn with the all-new A110. Vauxhall Insignia Grand Sport, Vauxhall pushes further up market with plush four-door coupe. Audi RS5 coupe. 444 bhp and 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.9s, the new RS5 is a serious performance car. Volkswagen Arteon, new VW Saloon replaces Passat CC and takes on BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe. CD Visa, new seat Super Mini gets fresh looks ahead of all new Arona crossover. Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross, all new crossover injects some style into Mitsubishi's range and takes on the cash K. Honda Civic Type R, Honda's new hot hatch will cost from £32,000 when it arrives in the summer. Nissan Cash K facelift, Britain's best-selling crossover gets styling tweaks and big tech upgrades. Range Rover Veeler, Geneva debut for a new Range Rover that bridges the gap between Evoque and Range Rover Sport. Ferrari 812 Superfast, Ferrari's replacement for the F12 has a 6.5-liter V12 and 789 bhp. Ford Fiesta ST, next-generation Ford Hot Hatch gets cleaner 1.5-liter three-cylinder turbo engine with 197 bhp. DS7 Crossback, first DS exclusive model is a Range Rover Evoque rival with hybrid power and autonomous tech. Volvo XC60, New 5-seat SUV inherits the looks, safety kit, and plush cabin from the larger XC90. Top Geneva Motor Show News Headlines Seat to build a Kodiak in SUV revolution. New electric Bentley due in 2021. Audi's three-pronged Ev Assault. New MK8 Golf still top priority for VW. Fiat Chrysler to pursue GM merger. Uncertain future for Vauxhall under PSA. Porsche Mission E range set to grow. Citroën C5 Aircross set for Shanghai debut. Alfa Mito and Giulietta facing the axe. World Car of the Year shortlist announced. Opel can go back to China under PSA, says boss. Volkswagen i.d buzz concept could yield family of electric MPVS. New Volvo S60 and V60 models to arrive in 2018. Geneva Motor Show 2017 a to Z, the cars in detail. Abarth. Fiat tuning firm Abarth has another special edition Fiat 500 at the Geneva Motor Show, in the form of the Abarth 595 Pista. The 595 Pista uses the standard 1.4-liter T-Jet four-cylinder engine with 158 bhp and 230 nm of torque, enabling a top speed of 134 miles per hour and 0 to 62 miles per hour in 7.3 seconds. Alpine Renault has been brewing a rebirth of the Alpine brand for some time now, 
and now we can see the fruits of the firm's labors in the form of the reborn 2017 A110, taking the iconic nameplate into the 21st century. Alpine has shown off its Porsche Cayman rival, which makes use of lightweight aluminium construction, is mid-engined has a 7-speed DCT gearbox and will have a price tag of around £50,000. Artega This is the Artega Scala Super L Letra by Touring, and it's taking its place among the exotic metal at the Geneva Motor Show. The Scala Super L Letra is named after a German racehorse and Artega plans for it to deliver more than 1,000 bhp, along with seating for three and styling by Carrozzeria Touring Super Legra of Milan. Production is scheduled to begin in early 2019, and will be limited to 50 units. Aston Martin After it arguably stole the 2016 Geneva show with the all-new Aston Martin DB11, the brand is keeping interest in its elegant supercar on the boil with its new bespoke Q personalization program. The DB11 at the show will be finished in Zafra blue paint, with carbon fiber details on the splitter, sills, diffuser, and door mirrors. Of more interest to many is Aston's announcement that the MRB001 hypercar will adopt the name Aston Martin Valkyrie when it arrives in 2019 with a bespoke 6.5-liter V12 Cosworth engine and hybrid system. Two more new cars appear on the Aston stand, the Repeat AMR and the Vantage AMR Pro. Both new models serve as an introduction to Aston's upcoming AMR nameplate, which will produce low-volume, high-performance, uncompromising editions of all Aston models. Audi Audi's new RS3 Super Hatch is at the show the RS3 Sportback. The new car boasts a reworked 2.5-liter 5-cylinder turbo engine packing 395 bhp and 480 nm of torque. Of more interest is the denote of the RS3S bigger brother, the mighty RS5 coupe. The 444 bhp machine can knock off the 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint in 3.9s and showcases a new design for Audi R's models. Audi is also treating us to a look at the Q8 Sport concept which previews the new SQ8 SUV. Bentley Bentley has revealed an all-electric concept car called the EXP 12 Speed 60, which has been designed to show how a future EV from the brand could look. Bentley's ultra-luxury in-house customization wing, Mulliner, meanwhile, has its velvet-gloved hands on the Bentega SUV once again. The brand is wheeling out its latest customization creation, which has two-tone paint, unique 22-inch wheels, exclusive interior choices and Mulliner embroidery. BMW BMW's headline act at Geneva this year is its new 5 Series Touring Estate. The most practical 5ER yet is 36mm longer than the previous generation, and will take on a raft of recent estate talent like the Volvo V90 and the Mercedes E-Class Estate. There is also new i8 Special Edition, 2, Protonic Frozen Black. Brabus Brabus has turned its attention to the Smart 412 for Geneva this year. Using the existing 898 cubic centimeters engine, the tuner has improved the induction system to push power up from 8.9 bhp to 1.23 bhp. Together with a comprehensive styling package, this bumps the list price up to 43,000 pounds. Yes, you read that correctly, the 43,000 pounds smart is here. Citroën Much like the Vauxhall Maeva morphing into the Crossland X and the Peugeot 3008 getting a more rugged look, this Sea Air Cross concept shows how the next generation Citroën C3 Picasso will be morphing into an SUV. Design cues from the new Citroën C3 are everywhere, including the slim LED headlights and air bump inspired door sills. We were also shown a teaser image for the C5 Aircross production car that will be revealed at the Shanghai Motor Show in a few weeks' time. Dacia Dacia's cheap and cheerful estate gets the rugged treatment in the form of a new Stepway version. The new Dacia Logan MCV Stepway, to give it its full title, is essentially a cut-price interpretation of the Skoda Octavia Scout, and is a way for Dacia to cash in on buyers' appetite for more rugged models.
Some new Summit Special Editions also brighten up Dacia's Geneva stand. Dendrobium A new all-electric hypercar concept from Singaporean electric vehicle makers Vanda Electric has appeared at the show. The exterior looks involve elements of the suspension, with exposed struts and springs visible in the wings. The low stance, tight cabin, and F1-inspired rear end all give it that recognizable hypercar stance. DS The DS brand has set out its mid-sized SUV stall in Geneva with the DS7 Crossback. It'll be a rival for the Audi Q5 when it arrives on sale later this year, and will serve as the DS brand's flagship model. Distinctive styling, hybrid power and autonomous driving features make the cut. Ferrari Ferrari has debuted a new flagship Grand Tourer this year boasting the most powerful naturally aspirated V12 engine it has ever fitted in a series production car. Called the 812 Superfast, its 6.5-liter V12 engine produces 789 bhp for 0 to 62 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds and a top speed over 211 miles per hour. Fiat Fiat is celebrating 60 years of the 500 at the Geneva Motor Show with the 500 Sessantesimo, a limited edition version of its Super Mini paying tribute to the original car released in 1957. Potentially more significant news came from FCA Group boss Sergio Martian who confirmed that the brand is still looking for an industry merger, even after PSA slash GM tie-up. Ford the all-new Ford Fiesta made its first public debut at the 2017 Geneva show. It's arguably one of the year's most important cars, and comes in a range of new guises including an active crossover model and a luxurious vinyl model. The bigger news on the Ford stand is the new Fiesta ST hot hatch model, which has made its debut at the show with a 197 bhp 1.5 liter 3-cylinder engine. Honda Headline act for Honda this year will be the official reveal of the next generation Civic Type R, building on the merits of the current model by sticking with a 2.0-liter VTEC turbocharged engine. Based on the 10th generation Civic, it should continue to be an aggressive looking thing if the Civic Type R concept revealed last year at the Paris Motor Show is anything to go by. Hyundai Hyundai has revealed the FE fuel cell concept, a show car designed to preview the Korean manufacturer's next generation of hydrogen-based fuel cell vehicle. The FE is a crossover that features ultra-slim headlights, complex surfacing around the leading edges of the front wings, and a sloping roofline that incorporates aerodynamic strakes across its supporting C-pillars. The firm's new load lugger, the i30 Tourer, is also making its public debut at Pale Expo while the plug-in hybrid version of the Ionic is on the stand too. Infiniti Infiniti has debuted a new concept car based on the Q60 Coupe, highlighting the technical partnership between Nissan's premium brand and the Renault Formula One team. Called the Q60 Project Black S, no powertrain revisions make their way onto the aggressively restyled coupe, Although Infiniti has incorporated Renault's F1 Energy Recovery System, ERS, at a later date, which could turn power up to 500 bhp. Ital Design Ital Design has unveiled its Zerano supercar at Geneva 2017. The car makes use of a modular platform combining lightweight materials such as aluminium and carbon fiber, while under the engine cover is a 5.2-liter V10 engine, shared with the Lamborghini Huracan and Audi R8 V10. No power figure has been quoted, but the engine produces 602 bhp in both the Huracan LP610-4 and the Audi R8 V10+. Jaguar Although we've already seen it at the La Motor Show, Jaguar has wheeled out the I-Pace concept once again, this time in red. We've also been given the chance to see the brand's revised F-Pace, XE and XF models. All three of these cars have improved engine ranges and more tech on board. Con. Following on from last year's reveal of the Aston Martin DB9 based WB12 Vengeance Coupe, Con has returned to the Geneva show with a convertible version the Vengeance Volante. 
the original 510BHP 6.0 liter V12 engine remains in place, while the price tag exceeds £300,000. Kia Kia is broadening the Nero lineup with a new plug-in hybrid version which has been unveiled at the Geneva Motor Show. The Nero plug-in hybrid blends an 8.9 kWh lithium polymer battery pack with the brand's 1.6-liter GDI petrol engine. We've also been given our first look at next-generation Kia Picanto which is going on sale in the UK this spring and the new Kia Optimus Sport Wagon, also in plug-in hybrid form. This hybrid model pairs a 11.26 kWh lithium polymer battery pack with a 50 kW electric motor to provide a provisional pure electric range of 38 miles, 60 km. Lamborghini One of the big supercar reveals at this year's show is the Lamborghini Huracan Performant, the car that recently set a production car lap record on the Nürburgring. It features an aggressive aero pack including a huge new rear wing, weight-saving measures and additional power taking the 5.2-liter V10 to 631 bhp. Land Rover After we revealed that it was coming back to Geneva last June, Land Rover has fully unveiled its new Range Rover Velar SUV. Designed to sit between the Evoque and the Range Rover Sport, the Velar features a crisp and modern design and a new in-control touch duo infotainment system. Lexus We've already seen the Lexus LS at Detroit, but the new limousine has taken pride of place on the brand's Geneva stand in hybrid form. The new LS500H is capable of reaching 87 miles per hour on battery power alone and uses the multi-stage hybrid system first seen on the Lexus LC Coupe. McLaren McLaren has introduced a new car at Geneva for the last four years, and continued that streak this year with a new Super Series model to replace the 650s. The McLaren 720s has arrived with striking looks and advanced aerodynamics to suck it to the road. At the heart of the new car is a 711BHP 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 engine with a whopping 770Nm of torque. Performance-wise, it outpunches Ferrari's 488 with a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 2.9 seconds, 0.1 seconds ahead of the Ferrari, and a top speed of 212 miles per hour, up 7 miles per hour on its rival. In other news McLaren also repeated confirmation that it will build a three-seat hybrid hypercar and that it will be the fastest road car the brand has created yet. Mercedes Mercedes's Geneva debut list is longer than almost every other brand going. The biggest debut is the new E-Class Cabrio, which Merck says completes the E-Class family. However, what will arguably garner more attention is the absolutely bombastic new Mercedes Maybach G650 Landelette. It boasts a convertible roof for the rear seat passengers, who also get S-Class style reclining seats, a glass partition, plus a 10-inch infotainment display each. Also on the stand will be the new E63 AMG Estate and a series of AMG Special Editions will be unveiled at the Geneva Show, too. Mitsubishi It wouldn't be a motor show without a new crossover, and Mitsubishi has stepped up to the plate at Geneva 2017 with a new family car to take the fight to the Nissan Qashqai. The new Eclipse Cross will sit above the ASX in Mitsubishi's range, and although UK engine specs have yet to be finalized, we know the Eclipse Cross will be available with a 1.5-liter four-cylinder turbo petrol engine, driven in pre-production form below, plus a 2.2-liter diesel engine at launch. Nissan Nissan pulled the covers off a Cash K facelift at the Geneva show, following on from last year's Cash K premium concept reveal. The revised version of Europe's most popular crossover is due on sale in July, with deliveries starting in the second half of the year. There are only minor cosmetic alterations, but big new tech features including semi-autonomous driving modes are added. Pagani One of the standout hypercar debuts this year is on the Pagani stand, as the Italian manufacturer has unveiled the Huayra Roadster a drop-top version of the Huayra. 753 bhp and over 1,000 nm of torque is promised, but it'll be limited to 100 units all of which have already been sold. 
Peugeot. The shooting brake lives. This Peugeot Instinct concept car is long, sleek, and hooks up to Samsung's Arctic Cloud, a service that supports the Internet of Things, IAT, connectivity for everything from smartphones to fridges, fitness monitors and home thermostats. It's powered by a 297 BHP plug-in system and is fully autonomous. Pine and Farina Formula One legend Emerson Fittipaldi has joined forces with Pini Farina and Mercedes Motorsport Specialist WA to create the EF7 Vision Gran Turismo by Pine and Farina, a new supercar making its debut at the show with a 592 BHP V8. It'll be recreated digitally to feature in the Gran Turismo series of games. Another vehicle on the Pine and Farina stand will be the hybrid Kinetic H600 a premium saloon concept designed and built by Pine and Farina on behalf of Hong Kong-based hybrid Kinetic Group. Little is known, other than its name alongside image we have here, but it's a luxury sedan concept and new energy propulsion is promised. Porsche The Panamera family is growing, as Porsche's latest creation, the Panamera Sport Turismo, has made its full debut at the Motor Show. However, don't think that it's a proper estate, as there is only 25 extra liters of boot space on offer compared to the standard saloon. The Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid is on show, which has a whopping 671 bhp, and the facelift Porsche 911 GT3 track weapon has also put in an appearance. Renault Renault looks set for a quiet Geneva show this year. The French firm has only confirmed one new model ahead of press day next week, the newly facelift Capture crossover. Design tweaks are kept to a minimum, with new LED running lights, tweaks to the front grille and minor alterations at the back. Rolls-Royce In the absence of anything brand new, Rolls-Royce has revealed a super luxurious bespoke version of a The Ghost called The Elegance. The extended wheelbase car has been commissioned for an individual collector. It takes pride of place on the Rolls-Royce stand alongside a black badge edition Wraith one of the firm's show stars from last year. Ruff Porsche tuner Ruff has celebrated 30 years since the launch of its iconic CTR Yellowbird with the Geneva reveal of a new 2017 CTR. Featuring full carbon construction to Ruff's own design, it just happens to bear the same shape as a 911, while carbon fiber body panels help to keep weight down to around 1,200 kilograms. That's nearly 200 kilograms less than the Lamborghini Huracan Performant, which has just set a new Nürburgring lap record, and with a 700 bhp 3.6 liter twin turbo flat 6 hanging out the back, the new CTR is sure to be stunningly fast. Sparrow Guided by veteran designer Franco Sparrow, Students at the Ecole Espera Sparo in Montbelliard have concocted a handful of curious concept cars that are sure to pique interest at the Geneva Motor Show. Chief among them is the open-top Mojave Roadster, which contains a manual 5-speed gearbox and a 4.0-liter petrol engine producing 290 bhp. Seat Seat is making a splash at this year's show with the introduction of an all-new 5th-generation Avisa Super Mini, Ushering in a new look the car closely follows the angular new facelift Leon in design. Seat busied itself in 2016 with the launch of its first SUV the Ateca and the new Evisa will form the basis of a smaller SUV, known as the Arona, later in the year. We also learned that Seat plans to use the Skoda Kodiak platform to create a large SUV to sit above the Ateca. Skoda Skoda is planning on taking Geneva 2017 by storm with a swathe of new models. Along with the hottest Octavia ever in the form of the Octavia VRS 245, there's also the facelift Citigo and Rapid models to spot, too. Plus, if you want your Kodiak SUV either more rugged or more sprightly, Skoda is showing off its new Scout and Sporty line trim levels for your pleasure. Sanjiang Sanjiang has uncovered a concept car previewing a new mid-size SUV, which will rival the Kia Sorento and Hyundai Santa Fe when it goes into production. Called the Zavel concept, the concept uses an evolution of the firm's design language, with a seven-seat cabin beneath. Subaru 
Subaru has revealed its all-new 15 crossover at this year's Geneva Motor Show, sitting on the firm's new global vehicle platform and equipped with all-wheel drive as standard. A new grille and headlights front a revised face, while a bold character line and new angular folds liven up the car's flanks. The new wider, lower character of the front end is carried over to the rear as well. It'll go on sale in the UK later this year. Suzuki A next-generation Suzuki Swift is on the way and primed for a full reveal this March, although we've already seen what the new Suzuki Super Mini looks like. It gets a sporty, angular new design setting it apart from the rounder, more sensible Bailano. It's a larger car than the outgoing model but lighter thanks to its new chassis, and it should be on sale this summer before a new Swift Sport in 2018. Tamo Tata launched a sports car sub-brand in Geneva. It's called Tamo and its first product car is the Rasimo two-seater. The compact mid-engine design study features a 1.2-liter three-cylinder turbo engine with a relatively modest 188 bhp, but in a car that's shorter yet wider than a Ford Fiesta, it should deliver an entertaining drive. Tech Rules Tech Rules introduced the Ren Supercar at the Geneva show this year, boasting both stellar performance with 960 kilowatts, 1,287 bhp, of power. The Ren, a term which stands for humanity and kindness in Chinese culture, features a diesel turbine engine which converts fuel into electrical energy, extending the range to 727 miles from its 80-liter tank. Toyota Toyota has confirmed that the next Yaris will get a hot hatch variant to mark the company's return to the World Rally Championship, and the new facelift Yaris, plus the Ford Fiesta ST rival, are on show at Geneva. The iTrill is another concept car heading for Geneva. Toyota has confirmed that the iTrill is an electric vehicle, and the teaser image suggests a tall and thin shape, so think along the lines of the Toyota I rode from a few years back. Vauxhall Vauxhall intends to push the Insignia further upmarket in 2017 with the introduction of the new Insignia Grand Sport a classier, more high take on its saloon with the BMW 3 Series in its sights. Inspired by 2013's Monza concept, the Grand Sport ushers in a four-door coupe look, made it to a longer wheelbase. A plush new cabin loaded with tech and a revised engine lineup signal Vauxhall's new aspirational ambition. The estate sports tourer model is also at the show. Volkswagen The Insignia Grand Sport isn't the only new aspirational four-door coupe at the show VW has shown off the Arteon, a replacement for the Passat CC and new rival for the BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe. The totally new model is a step up in quality compared to the CC it replaces, with a sleek new design, new technology, and a starting price of around £30,000 when it goes on sale this autumn. We've driven an early prototype, and you can read our impressions so far here. Alongside the Arteon, the Tiguan Allspace is making its European debut and VW also revealed the Cedric Autonomous concept. Volvo The all-new Second-generation Volvo XC60 has been unveiled at the Geneva Motor Show. The Swedish manufacturer is at pains to point out that the new SUV is more than just a scaled-down version of its flagship, the XC90, although both cars share Volvo's spa-large vehicle platform. Zenvo Danish performance car manufacturer Zenvo has hailed its 10th anniversary with a unique, one-off hypercar called the TS1 GT at the Geneva Motor Show. Powered by a 5.8-liter V8, the TS1 GT has two superchargers thrown in for good measure, upping output to 1,147 bhp at 7,700 rpm and producing 1,100 nm of torque. Geneva Motor Show, Location, 2017 Dates and Ticket Prices Dates the Geneva Motor Show opens with two press days and this year they're on Tuesday March 7th and Wednesday March 8th, although there are a number of press preview events, where key cars will be revealed, on the evening of Monday March 6th. After that, the show doors open to the public from Thursday March 9th and it's every car fan for him or herself.
The final day of the 2017 Geneva Motor Show is Sunday, March 19. Opening Hours On weekdays days when the Geneva Show is open to the public the show halls are open from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. On weekend public days it's 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Location The Giant Pale Expo Exhibition Center is the home of the Geneva Motor Show. The address is Route Francois Peyrat 30, 1218 Le Grand Sac in X, but Pale Expo is right next the Geneva Airport so it couldn't really be easier to find. The proximity to the airport means there are good train and bus links from elsewhere in Geneva and although the Pale Expo car parks are reserved for exhibitors, driving is an option. Parking facilities are provided near the venue with an estimated 5,000 spaces during the week and 10,000 spaces on weekends to be found within a 5 km radius of the venue. Just be prepared for some heavy traffic. Tickets Geneva Motor Show 2017 tickets are available from the official website. The cost isn't unreasonable given how much there is to see, with adults charged 16 Swiss francs, about 13 pounds. Pensioners, disabled people, and children between 6 and 16 will only have to pay 9 Swiss francs, around 7 pounds, and there's a 50% discount on any tickets bought after 4 p.m. on the day of entry.